Hi, my name is Amber Terhune. I'm the health educator for the Johnson County Health Department. This presentation is about varicella. Varicella, also known as chickenpox, is a highly contagious disease which is caused by the varicella zoster virus, which is a herpes virus. It is more common in preschool and school-aged children, especially since many people are together in this type of setting. Before the vaccine was introduced in the United States in 1995, there were about 4 million cases each year. There were also about 10,600 hospitalizations and about 100 to 150 deaths each year. Cases declined about 90% from 1995 to 2005. Chickenpox is spread from breathing in respiratory droplets from an infected person, such as through coughing, sneezing, or speaking. It is also passed through direct contact with fluid from the chickenpox or shingle skin lesions. The incubation period for chickenpox is about 10 to 21 days. Symptoms may include fever, headache, fatigue, weakness, loss of appetite, and an itchy rash which starts on the front and back torso area plus the face and then it spreads. It may spread to the mouth, throat, eyes, and genital areas. You can have 250 to 500 or more spots. The bumps may not all be in the same phase at the same time. The rash starts as a flat red bump, and then turns into fluid-filled vesicles. The vesicles turn into crusts, which then scab over, then fall off. They disappear over about 5 to 10 days. A person is contagious from about 2 days before the rash until all spots crust over. Children usually end up missing about five to six days of school or daycare due to chickenpox illness. To diagnose chickenpox, a medical provider may do a physical examination. If you have a known exposure to chickenpox or shingles, be sure to tell your health care provider. They may also order a blood lab test or test the vesicle fluid and skin cells from the lesions. Treatment focuses on relieving symptoms. Anti-itch medication and lotions may be used. Acetaminophen may be given for fever and aches. Do not use aspirin as this increases the risk for a rare but serious condition called Reyes syndrome. Antiviral medication may be used for severe cases or for those with high risk of complications. This may help lessen symptoms and should be given within 24 hours of rash appearance. Change bedding often to prevent infections. Also, avoid scratching to prevent infections. Keep nails trimmed and you may need to put gloves on children. Wear loose fitting clothing to prevent more skin irritation. Lukewarm baths with baking soda or colloidal oatmeal can help ease itching. More extensive treatment may be done if you develop complications such as using antibiotics or using hospitalization. Anyone who has not had two doses of vaccine or already had the disease are at risk for chickenpox but some are at greater risk for complications. This may include infants less than one year of age, children 12 years and older, older adults, those who are immunocompromised due to some medications or illnesses, and pregnant women. Here are some possible complications from chickenpox. Pneumonia, encephalitis, meningitis, bacterial infections in the skin, tissues, or blood, scarring of the skin, Shingles, where the chickenpox virus remains dormant in nerve cells and may reactivate later in life. This is painful and may result in permanent nerve damage. Pregnancy complications. If a pregnant woman develops chickenpox less than 20 weeks of gestation, it may lead to severe birth defects, such as stunted growth, small head size, eye problems, and intellectual disabilities. If a woman develops chickenpox from five days before to two days after delivery, it may lead to a possible fatal illness in the newborn. Death may also occur, and this may even happen in those who are otherwise healthy individuals. You should consult your physician if you are susceptible and exposed to varicella, especially if you are in a high-risk group. Also, if you develop an unexplained rash, the rash spreads to the eyes, the rash is tender, warm, very red, or leaking pus, as these are signs of a secondary bacterial infection, or if you develop more severe symptoms, such as dizziness, shortness of breath, fever higher than 102 degrees Fahrenheit, rapid heartbeat, stiff neck, and bleeding or bruising rash. 
Be sure to tell the staff when you call about possible chickenpox infection so they may minimize spread in the office. The best way to prevent chickenpox infection is to get the vaccine. It prevents about 90% of all chickenpox cases when both doses are given. The recommended ages are dose 1 at 12 to 15 months and dose 2 at 4 to 6 years. You can also catch up the doses for older children or adults. Indiana requires two doses of vaccine or proof of immunity for kindergarten through 12th grade enrollment. Many colleges require it as well. There are two vaccines available, Verivax, which is only varicella, and Proquad, or MMRV, which is measles, mumps, rubella, and varicella. Some who are vaccinated may still acquire chickenpox, known as breakthrough disease, but it is usually mild with few spots and little or no fever. There is also a lower risk of complications. The vaccine may also be given to unvaccinated persons within five days of exposure in order to prevent the disease or lessen symptoms. Some people are unable to be vaccinated due to age or medical conditions, so those around them should be vaccinated. If you've had chickenpox, you do not need the vaccine, although it is recommended to get the shingles vaccine as an older adult. If you are infected, avoid others as much as possible, especially if they have never had chickenpox or the vaccine, or if they are in a high complication risk category. Stay home from school, daycare, and work. Do not have chickenpox parties, as this can be very dangerous, especially for those with high risk. This concludes the varicella presentation. If you have any questions, please consult your doctor, local health department, or any of these websites. Thank you.